Okay, so the next panel we're going to have a look at is the game view. Now the great thing about Unity is it lets you compile and test your game pretty much straight away. So what you'll notice is that there are docked panels hiding next to the scene um, and console view. One of those will be the game view. Now you can arrange your panels in any way that you'd like. Um, you can drag them around and drop them onto certain areas and they will fade into wherever you happen to want them to be. Um, a favorite of, of a lot of people is to use this kind of two up approach where you've got um, scene and game available and then hierarchy project and inspector. Um, some people like to place the project panel down at the bottom here and have a split between those two giving you more room for the other two panels on the left. It's totally up to you what you want to do. There are a few different layouts that you can grab um, from the window layouts menu and you can pretty much do whatever you want from there. So let's talk about the game view as I said. So at the moment you can see the game view is showing you um, the view from the main camera and that's always what it's going to do. Okay, So if you've got multiple cameras in your scene um, it's going to default to whichever is the first one that's going to show when the game starts. So as I move that camera you can see in the game view that's moving too. Now a handy trick um, because what you might want to do when you're just prototyping or starting out in Unity is to have your camera sit at the same point as you're currently looking at the scene view. Now if I'm looking at the scene view with the editor camera, i.e. the camera that's in the Unity engine itself, I might be looking at this particular viewpoint. So I might want my camera to be there too so that I can see what I'm looking at here in the game view. So all I need to do then is select the main camera and go to game object align with view and it's going to set it up the same way. So the game view as soon as I press play will actually compile the game not that we've set anything up just yet and let you see what's going on. It's very crucial that you remember to stop playing the game when you carry on because Unity assumes that when you're pressing play you're currently in testing mode and any settings that you change will go back to default or what they were before you press play when you stop the game. So always remember when you're playing it, test it and make sure you stop before you carry on working. The pause button there is simply to hold on a particular frame in case you want to check performance or anything like that. The game view can also show you um, statistics on the uh, current memory usage and things like that. Um, you can maximize it on play and you can choose to show or hide um, any gizmos that you've put in. Gizmos are small 2D representations of things that you can put in manually or via scripts or any other way you want to um, show yourself uh, different parts of your scene through the game view. Uh, also in the game view you can adjust uh, what it looks like. So if you set up a resolution for web in the settings it can show you exactly what that will look like. Or you can look at 16.9 for TV, you can look at 16.10 for computer monitors, or the other two aspect ratios uh, there, or indeed a free aspect which will show you whatever you've got room for. So that's the game view.